Good morning. Uh, we're going to do this uh, beautiful, I call it the Golden Marsh. This is in Essex, Mass. I came upon it in uh, plein air painting uh, in oils, actually. I did this one and the one across the street. Anyway, uh, we're going to start with that wash of very light uh, Windsor blue on the top. It's very, very light. The sky is almost white. And then I added a little rose to that to do the water pot. So I did those two, the top and bottom. Then I wiped out and now I'm painting the rock. And this is just the gray. This is uh, just really a blue, uh, ultramarine blue with a raw sienna in it. Okay, just to cover that rock. All right, now we're doing those back trees. And the back trees are Quinn Sienna and Ultramarine Blue. Just painting the big band across first, putting the blue on the bottom. I deliberately did that so that I can get, when that washes down, I'm gonna get a nice misty look coming up off the water. Okay, give it a nice spray. Uh, then I'm going in with a small brush and I'm just gonna uh, basically uh, change the whole top of that shape I made by by making the trees. Now you can look at the photo and study out some of these trees, but don't try to do a portrait. That's not important. Uh, what's important is you just get a nice, you see those two are the same, so I want to change this one and make it bigger. So don't, don't try to do exactly what you see there, uh, but just look at it and get a sense for some of these trees popping up. Uh, it's, I've got it a little warmer at the top there. It's coming down uh, into the into the blue, but it's nice. It's going to run down nicely. Uh, so take your time and just take a small brush and just shape out these trees. Just develop a, a nice tree line right across there by making uh, different trees. You know, some some lighter and darker, but they're basically just silhouettes, which is nice. Uh, but have fun with it, you know, take your time, as I say, and enjoy it. It's a good exercise in painting trees. And if you made that a nice wet band, you know, a big problem with students, they don't put enough paint down, you know, especially this. These are very dark trees. You don't want them black, you know, you don't want them to be pitch black. You want them some color. So we're using ultramarine blue and quinciana, quinacridone sienna, which is warm and the blue is cool. So you get a nice variety of warm and cool up there. And you want to emphasize that to make it pop, you know, to make those things jump. All right, putting that big tree in on the right. Okay, just working that whole tree line. All right, now I'm going into the uh, the water pot, but there's there's some tree here. There's some brush growing in front of that those trees. So, taking quinacridone sienna and raw sienna, mixing them a little bit, and running a bead right across. Notice I left that little white line between them. You want to do that for now. The top is still wet. You know, if it isn't, spray it and get it. You want it to start running. So what I'm doing here is basically sewing these two shapes together now, leaving little pieces of white if you want to, but just basically sewing them together. The reason I'm doing that is because I want that dark paint to run down into the bottom, but I don't want it to run down as a wash. I want it to run down and to create this effect as grass, you know, that the, the tall golden grass and the the dark will run in, in between it and behind it and give us a nice look of, of grass growing in the background. All right, All right. I'm gonna do the same thing now. This is the water. The water, you know, I was gonna call this painting black water, but um, the water is very dark. This is a very muddy marsh, very muddy area. So, uh, 
do the same thing get the water in uh, and this is you can really go black with this you know start out with the black same thing ultramarine blue with quincy and it will give you that nice black um, painting around those rocks now see if you leave that white that little white strip now you can go back in and kind of do the same thing you know just let it bleed you know see what I'm doing I'm like doing the same thing here needle like sewing them together and that gives you a different effect than you know doing a wash you're letting it run uh, letting it run together all right I'm taking a very dry dock here and just shaping uh, those two rocks in the front they're a big part of this painting because they give they sort of give the landscape a, a center a focus you know, a, a center of interest and a focus uh, within the beautiful trees and the color. But uh, you know, as, as artists, we're using the beautiful color here. It's amazing. All right, so I just shaped those two rocks in the middle and I'm gonna leave those gray. They're very light, they got the sun on them in the middle of all this dark. All right, just taking some dark now and tying those together. This is the bottom of the grass in the background. Now below that, you can see the grass is reflecting into the water, okay? So we just want to develop that nice line where the grass ends, where the land ends, and it comes, the reflection is in the water now. You can see why I wanted that to run down, how we knitted it together, okay? All right. Yeah, a little darker here and there. All right, now we want to do the grass in the front. First, we want to establish the shape. Same colors, quinacridone sienna and a little bit of raw sienna in there will give it a nice variety. Maybe even a touch of blue in there if you want to gray it down a little bit. All right, just paint. I paint it right up to the rocks. All right, just... I changed into my big brush because I that's a big shape. I want to just get it all covered. All the same colors. I want this this piece on the left here, I want that dark to come down as a diagonal because I want these two diagonals, one on the right and one on the left, going up towards that rock. It makes a much better composition. Pick up any drips you have. So you see I'm covering that black up so that we have the right that both lines going up towards the rock like a like an arrow we bring the viewer right into it All right, I'm just taking the dark and I'm carving out this this grass here in the front uh, it's a darker I just pushed it so that it's a little darker this is the front of the grass you know it's all coming down in the water you know in the video it looks much lighter but it's a nice violet you know it's a beautiful violet reflection so just get that in nice dry brush it and paint it up and down like this and so you get a nice sense of grass growing you know up and down give it a little spray here and there so it it stays nice and wet this whole painting right now is still wet the 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 dark trees in the back are still wet you can see that nice blue kind of misty color coming up all all wet uh, this is a dry brush but I'm using them pulling down on that wet grass and creating a nice sense of grass all right I'm using some dark color here to accent the, the you know where the where the earth is underneath this grass and it's reflecting down in the water so just take a sort of dry brush and, and you know Go up and down with your strokes and just create this tall grass growing out of the water, reflecting back into the water. All right, it's the edge of the grass, so you can see the land, uh, and some of, some of it's reflecting those trees in the background. All right, I'm going in trying to do little shapes and making mounds of grass. You know, making a little bit of a uh, little bit of 
movement in the grass, you know, little form going up and down. All right? You keep going with the darks, making those dark shapes like needles coming down, reflecting into that water. All right? I love this painting. I, I love this area, and I love this marsh. It's absolutely beautiful. It's uh, enchanting. You know, it's just dark and beautiful. All right, going back in, the, the, the marsh, the color is kind of set up, so I'm going, and it's drying lighter. So I'm going in. This is just quinciana. I'm rubbing it in on top, trying to create some form and some shapes in there. And leave it. It looks almost red, but it's that quinciana. It's a beautiful color. Giving you a nice vibration against those blues in the background. She so keep pulling those edges down, those needles, reflecting into the water. Okay. I hope you like that. I, I thought this was a, a wonderful subject to paint, so I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you for joining me again. I appreciate it. Uh, we're kind of celebrating here. This is our 100th video. I hope you're watching them all. Thank you, and please subscribe if you have not, and like it. The folks at YouTube want that like signal, so I appreciate your help. Thank you. See you soon.